you should be hitting like Pete Rose. Scratch that. Let me be more specific. You should be competing in the box, swinging with intent to do damage while focusing on spraying the entire field with hard line drives, protecting the plate with two strikes, grinding out each at bat like a bulldog, and doing whatever it takes to get on base, like Pete Rose. Look, say what you want about Charlie Hustle. He swung the bat like a troll and he stood in the batter's box like a tree stump, but the dude could flat out hit. He had 17 seasons with 600 plus at bats and over a dozen seasons with 200 plus hits. And there's so much to learn from these two specific stats and it starts with one word, competing. Let me explain. Mechanics are overrated but fundamentals and the approach is king. There's a difference between swinging and hitting. So much emphasis is put on proper mechanics and what a good swing looks like but sometimes we spend so much focus on the looks and the mechanics that as hitters we lose our feel for the bat. In other words, we lose our instincts. At the end of the day, the point of hitting is to make the sweet spot of the barrel hit a round ball when it gets in the strike zone. Pete Rose did not have perfect mechanics, but he had immense levels of self-belief. He once said, if you want to be a catcher, watch Johnny Bench. If you want to hit for power, watch Mike Schmidt. If you want to be a pure hitter, watch me. I would go as far as to say he didn't look great in the batter's box. He didn't even try to achieve perfect mechanics, but he knew and understood the fundamentals. He had a plan. And ultimately, his success came down to this. Pete Rose was able to execute quality swings on quality pitches day in and day out, clocking into work with the blue collar mentality. What I'm talking about is mental toughness. He was tough as nails, a grinder, a competitor, and a bulldog. Here's the reality. Playing baseball is a grind. It's full of failure, pain, and injury, setbacks, and heartbreaks. But underneath it all, there's joy. Because baseball is a game and it's meant to be played. When we compete our tail off, make our teammates better, while playing the game with intent, good things happen. We get the good hop, the good pitches to hit, the call by the um goes our way. Call it karma, call it a gift from the baseball gods, or just plain mojo momentum. If you want to excel at the highest level, you got to be tough. Then you have to know your role, limits, and constraints. Pete Rose wasn't trying to hit 40 bombs a year. The most he ever had was 16. If you want to be a great hitter, you have to learn how to drive the ball with conviction consistently without getting cheated by the fastball. Even big league power guys became great hitters first, building a foundation that allowed them to develop into power hitters. They grew into their strength. Remember, at the highest level of the game, the players in the lineup are there not just because of their physical makeup and God-given ability, rather it's because of their ability to perform and execute consistently. Rose's strength showed up most in being the same guy every single day. If you wanna be great, be good consistently. Perform and execute. That's my take on Pete Rose and hitting. Agree or disagree, it's all the same. The point of this video and every video on this channel is to be and stay a student of the game.